Welcome to our first module where we'll be designing the night.com homepage. We're going to explore what's actually on the page in order to figure out a plan on how to actually build it out in actual RP. So let's take a look. When we open up the night.com homepage, what you'll notice is it's a very clean layout. Um, we've got a header at the top and a couple of product shots and a nice big banner. We've got some products in a carousel. We've got a breakdown between categories for him and for, for her. We've got another product carousel, another banner, some promotional products and then towards the bottom we've got a breakdown of men's women's and kids categories and some quick links for different category uh, sections and right towards the bottom is the footer which has get help links some links around about nike and social media links let's take a look at the functionality that exists on the page so right at the top, we've got a menu dropdown, and this is how it plays out. It takes up full width. You can see that it overlays the background. Search opens up another kind of full width uh, overlay. And you have help opening up a dropdown. Join us goes to an actual page. Yep. And lastly, sign in has got a pop-up. Cool. Once we move down the header, we've got a little carousel banner showing some announcements. On the page, we have our carousel and towards the bottom, an accordion type quick link uh, component. And lastly, right at the bottom, you can change the location with a full screen pop-up. So this is the functionality which exists on the page. And this is what we're going to be building in this module. So the first thing to understand is how to go about building it, right? Web content is usually housed inside a container or just a rectangular box. And what you find is there'll be three main sections, a header, a body, and a footer. Same is true for Nike. And those are the containers that we are going to be building uh, piece by piece. So the first part is going to be this header at the top and then we'll go into the body and lastly we'll touch on the footer. So let's get started. Let's fire up your actual RP and then let's get going. If this is your first time using actual RP, don't worry. I'm gonna orientate you around the actual tool and we'll touch on different features as we go, uh, especially the useful ones. 